photo mode. We in the photo room still. And it's time to do what we really came in here to do. So I got them shirts out of the way for my clients. They good to go. Everybody got their stuff. Everybody satisfied. Back to Creative Nation. Back to the work. Because tomorrow is the big day. And yeah, we got some stuff going down, man. But we got to go ahead and get the rest of these pictures first. Or I ain't going to be able to get it going. And I'm ready to announce this giveaway more than anything. So that's what we about to do. We got to take pictures of these last few items. I got some more items in the other uh, room that I got to actually go get. And I done printed some stuff since the last video that wasn't shown. So I didn't get to record it. I just got in one of the molds and started printing and going crazy. So it's actually some new pieces and items I got to show y'all too that we're going to bring in here. So I might as well go get them first. We're going to bring them in here and then we're going to take pictures of everything. Make mock-ups. Go on and finish the whole collection in the mock-up graphic today for sure. I'm talking about, I ain't even going back and forth. I ain't letting nobody distract me. Nobody get in the way because tomorrow, April 13th, is a big day. Really the biggest day of the year for Creative Nation. And yeah, it's time for us to drop. And I'm just, it's time for that giveaway, bro. I've been saying something about it. We closing in on 3,000 subscribers. And yeah, it's just, it's just, it's a movie. It's a movie. So that's what we're about to do. Let me go ahead and go in here and get the, uh, get the other stuff so we can bring it in here. That's what we about to do. So far, let me show y'all, hold on. So far, this is what we got in here. We got the green pants. We ain't never get no picture of those. I meant green pants. Right there. So far, so we got the green shorts in here. We ain't never get no picture of those. Gonna get a picture of those. The apron, I ain't get no picture of that. The totes, the Vic. All of the women um varsity jackets and then I'm finna go in there and get the other pieces so we can show y'all what's new, man. Got that heat in here. Got that heat in here, man. Show y'all what's new though. Hold on. Show y'all what we got that y'all didn't get to see me print. Let me show y'all what we got that y'all didn't get to see me print yet. So look, new pieces, new pieces. New women's crop, create a city, clean, some simple, light pink, just so I can get them some color. Cause I did white and black on the other crops right here. And I don't wanna just have only white and black, but that means they get a three piece. This one got the same design on it and I switched the design up on this one, but yeah, that's that. And that's just for now, just some light, just to, you know, give them light. So the pink tee is something that I just printed new. Uh, what else is over here that's new? That was printed off camera that y'all ain't see. For those who been keeping up with what's going on anyway. Okay, so if you don't know, the last video I did show me printing this, but I didn't uh, get to finish the update I was showing everything that i finished since it's been off camera so since it's been off camera i've added the, the falcon sleeve to this left side and then i've added the uh what would you call this oh yeah that's the stripe i'm tripping what would you call this i added the stripe to this on here too so my stripe is crazy but look at that double layer double layer suede double layer suede stripe going around the sleeve on both sleeves got the sanders on the back double layer you know what i'm saying suede on the numbers Got the 21 for the Falcons on the front of the CFL. So I'm just still got to go get the image for the patch. And then I'm going to add the uh, World Series 1993 patch on the right arm. And that's going to be it for this. So yeah, this right here is uh, basically complete. Just missing two components. And then I didn't show none of me printing the Vic. But it still ain't done. But I went on and started the process. So as y'all can see, it got the CFL on there already. It's got the 7 in black. I'm missing the throwback patch on here too. So I'm gonna add my CFL patch. Then I'm gonna uh, layer this in white, layer the seven in white. And then of course I gotta add the Vic, the name to the back too. And that's it, other than that, that's it for this one. Of course I gotta put tags in them, but these samples right now. So no tags right now. <laughs> and yeah, last but not, oh no, it's two more pieces. I'm tripping, cause y'all saw the purple pants, but y'all ain't saw. I went ahead and did these. So if y'all been tuned in and tapped in, y'all know I said I was going to go ahead and put these to the side and not even drop these. And I said I wasn't going to drop these as well. 
So I ended up not putting nothing on these. I don't think I'm dropping these for sure. But these ended up looking dope. I just didn't know how it was going to really look, bro, with the white on there. I didn't think you was going to be able to see it that much. But the puff on here popping so hard. Like, how can you even miss it? Like, it's crazy, for real. Like, it really don't even make no sense how hard I got the puff popping on these, bro. Then, I, you know, I started sizing myself up. I'm like, damn, these ain't too bad. But this ain't even my size. I think it's a medium. Yeah, this is a medium. I need a small. But, yeah, I'm like, these go crazy in the spring on some... You know, earth tone, earth colors. You know what I mean? Ocean and water, all that. Grass, land, and uh, water concept. I want to think about all type of creative stuff. But yeah, these done. That's uh, another piece. So basically, off camera, I finished up. I did the uh, big jersey, some whatever. I did the uh, extra pieces to the um, Deion Sanders jersey. These sweats right here. The woman's crop. And then I also went ahead and did my gusto tee. So the gusto tee is done. You don't know who Gusto is, look up the movie CB4. But if you're an OG like me and you come from that real era <laughs> of good movies, you know CB4. So Long Live Charlie Murphy, uh, going for the Gusto C Block T, CB4 T is now printing it done. That's the sample for that. So yeah, I did like four or five pieces off camera that I had to show y'all. And yeah, we're gonna, um, I don't gotta take this shirt in there, but everything that I gotta take a picture of, which would be this pink crop and this these pants and what else the green shorts is already in there i feel like it's one more is that it i think that's it then yeah i think i just gotta take these green crop and these pants oh then i did replace the uh orange hat in here too so i went on here to replace the orange hat i'm just missing my brown one now but all in all bro all these pieces are done we good to go and yeah i don't think there's nothing else i gotta take in there but let me see. Oh, no, you know, where that black T at? Here you go. Okay, cool. So, yeah. This is it. You got to take these three pieces in there with the rest of the stuff. Take pieces of this. Then I'm going to come in here and print my last few pieces. And then I'm going to go on here and print this blanket. So, I got some. I think I got an idea for this blanket. We got a big project on our hands. Giant blanket. We're going to show y'all how you can print a huge blanket <laughs> or whatever using a regular heat press and a mini press or iron so yeah got a throw blanket this is one of them guild and fleece throw blankets i think if i'm not mistaken i've been had this for a long time I, it might be a different brand but either way we're gonna print that I'm, I'm not gonna do nothing on that at least in my head right now i don't think so and then we're gonna go ahead and do this t Gonna put it's like a uh, jersey. Well, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's a full tee. You got the double pockets on the front. We're gonna go ahead and do this tee. And um, we're gonna go ahead and do this shirt right here. Knock this on or not. I already got a concept in my head for this. I know I'm gonna use some black reflector for sure. And then we're gonna do these pants. So I'm gonna use black reflector and black suede. For this pants shirt combo. So it's basically it's only one outfit left to print. A pair of sweatpants and a blanket. And everything else is done. We good to go. Any samples that I don't have, I can mock it up and make it come to life. So take these in here and go get these pictures, bro. And that's it. Let's roll. Let's roll. Collection finally at the end of the uh road, man. It's dope. All right, let's get to it. Add them on to the pieces, and it's going down. Oh, damn, I can't do this black tee on here. I'm tripping. <laughs> can't put no black tee on a black backdrop. Or this apron. What the hell I'm thinking? I got to drop down the white backdrop. So we're going to do everything that can go on black first. do the first bit bro because i be i don't got so crazy with making all this stuff and designing stuff man for real for real like this feel old to me already i ain't gonna even lie this big jersey feel old to me already it ain't even old it's only been made it it's only been like a month since i uh, came up with this 
but it just feel like it's already so old. Like vintage piece. This bitch crazy. Damn. It's fire. I did my thing with this video. I can't believe I'm yeah, I'm tripping. I should been drop. Fuck. <laughs> uh, motherfucker, too hard to be holding. <sighs> Here we go. So if you watching this, this is how I get my pictures when I'm um and I got a camera too. I do use the camera, but it's easier for me to do this and not the background now. So I just use it with the phone. But I got a camera depending on the lighting. If I need it, I pull it out and um get real good pictures. But all in all, if you're trying to make mock-ups and you already got your own apparel or you got some blanks, you can just take the pictures and use a, a background eraser app or Use like Photoshop or Canva. So I don't know if you can erase background in Canva, but if you can't, so if you use Canva, I'm sure y'all know. So yeah, you just take take a picture on any backdrop. You don't necessarily gotta be this, but they do sell the backdrop paper, like in like small rolls and stuff. So I can say that get you a bed sheet or something. Before I had this, I just had a regular bed sheet, and I would do the same thing. But now I got a photo room, so I can go crazy. Yeah, man take these and knock the backgrounds out and make our own mock-ups for the collections and we're good to go that's fire then i'm probably gonna come here this time and lay everything on the backdrop because i ain't got no full collection just lay it all down in a long time damn this bit crazy What's fire about this is only gonna be 25 of them. This number one to 25, so I only got 24 more available. I'm a, I got a surprise, bro. Watch, like, <laughs> y'all don't even know. It's gonna be something so fire. I gotta get me some wider hangers, man. Some large hangers. That go like all the way on the shoulder of a crew neck where this can just float like this. And then spin around because with the droopy arms it look weird. I ain't taking no picture with the droopy arms, man. <laughs> Not with the droopy arms. I can't do it. It just looks stupid. It don't look stupid, but it just don't look like this. Like, man. But whatever. That ain't what we in here for right now. So I'm gonna take that down because I'm gonna keep bumping into it. I ain't trying to do that. Green shorts, let's go. Green corduroy shorts. Shirt. You ain't even gonna tell these bitches green. Yes, you can. Darken the contrast. Perfect. Perfect.
keys on some random last minute. Because <clears throat> I wasn't going to drop because I'm like, it's about to get hot, but the weather ain't switched up yet. So glad I went on ahead and decided to drop these. Shouldn't need no more pictures. That should be it. Anything else I can do with a mock up. Take these last two and these tote bags. Damn, I should have pressed that. That looked too wrinkled. Press that one, might have to turn the heat press on right quick. Got them Creative Nation sweats. These, bruh, these might be my favorite sweatpants. I done dropped entirely since I done dropped all the collections. I don't think these are the hardest sweatpants I probably done dropped. Just the colorway and the puff is doing numbers. Just the colorway and the puff is doing real deal. Yeah, the, just the colorway and the puff, man. That alone is like, they finna go crazy on these. I already know it. Already know it. I wonder if I had any these probably look. Hmm. Might do a little hang with these. We gonna see. We gonna see, see. See if it's too wrinkled. Nah, it ain't. It ain't too wrinkled for a mock-up picture. Is that? Is that? And it's a wrap. It's a wrap after this. It's a wrap. Y'all know me, bro. I, I can't turn down these orders, so I'm gonna take them on. But in the midst of, you know, cooking up the collection, we got the pictures taken. But I had a little two-piece uh, order that I gotta do. And also, I wanted to go ahead and throw the tags in the, uh, 
Deion Sanders and the Vic jersey so that I can just finesse my pictures right quick. I got a way I'm gonna just make the mock-ups through the graphic until I go buy the ink later on or tomorrow. And then that way I can just go on and list them. Because I got I can make them at any time, but I just need to go on and list the whole project. So I got a way I'm gonna finesse it, but first I gotta put the tags in my clothes. So yeah. I'm about to do these two shirts right quick. Well, my home girl. And then When I'm done with that, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we can load all the products up. I already emailed all the product that we just took pictures of to myself on the uh, heat wave page. So yeah, it's time to drop. Time to drop. We dropping tomorrow for sure. April 13th, the big day, we dropping. Drop for sure, for sure. We lit, man. We lit. So, yeah, I'm doing some little glitter stuff for her. A little two-piece order right quick. Some glitter. I bought one sheet of glitter and finessed my way <laughs> with making it big because the shirt, one shirt is a 2X and one shirt is a large. So, got some silver glitter and some white glitter. And what's crazy, I don't even think I, I don't think I never did nothing with no glitter on camera, for real, for real. If I have, then I'm, I'm tripping out. But as far as I can remember, I don't really too tough recall using glitter. So, this may be a first on the uh, channel of me using glitter. But yeah, we doing some glitter today, white glitter and silver glitter. About to cook it up, two black tea. And I already got one right here laid out. I just got to trim this up and press them. That's it, that's why I didn't even start recording until I had it cut out. And I got and I gotta send her a picture to confirm it. So y'all get to see this. I want y'all to see somebody tell y'all exactly what they feel about the work and the confirmation when I send it. And then I'm just ready to drop, bro. I'm actually super excited to shoot this content and do all the stuff we about to do to drop. Photo shoot today, all type of stuff going on. See y'all, this is why it's good to confirm before you do anything. And I really should have confirmed before I even cut it out. But she sent me a picture that what she uh but she sent me a picture of what it was supposed to be like. So I just went off the picture and cut this out. So the shirt with the 22 on it right here is right. This one right here is good. Only thing is she wanted to go on the back of the shirt. So the mock-up she sent me, I couldn't tell if it was the back or the front of the shirt, but it just looked like I'm just assuming it's the front because nobody really I never really took up getting nobody that just wants them on the back of the shirt, but nothing on the front. So yeah, this one is right. I just got to put it on the back of the shirt. That one over there is completely wrong. I threw those numbers out and now I don't have no more white glitter. So she's going to have to settle, uh, settle for whatever white material that I do have in there. But yeah, she said they look good, but they're supposed to say, supposed to be on the back of the shirt and the 2 shirt shirts supposed to say Fred's mom 92. So I was never told that and never clarified uh, that that was supposed to be what it's supposed to say. I just went off of this picture right here. Let me try to find it. Hold on. This picture right here. So this is what I was originally sent that was supposed to be done. So I just assumed this is what it was supposed to be. That's what I cut out. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I ain't tripping, though. I still got hers right. And now we finna just go ahead and run through it and cut out the other part, the Fred's Mom 92. And then finish this song up, bro, so we can get back to the job. stuff like this with no problem every day if people just wanted to get yeah just put 22 in the name on my shirt and i love to have clients like that <laughs> i'm jealous of the people with the easy orders i ain't gonna lie but you know nothing comes easy so i get it <laughs> oh no oh.
So this is what we doing for them. Some slight, nothing too major, some real simple. Silver glitter, name, number. <laughs> That's all I need from you. If you bad, your name and your number. Nah, I'm just talking shit, but yeah. White glitter, silver glitter, name on the top. Big kind of jumbo, cause this is a two X, so I think this is like a 16 inch design, I think, something like that, 15. And this one like a uh, 13 and a half, or something like that on this large, but yeah. About to run through those right when she confirm and say that they look good, and then we good to go. All right, Bet Nation, so we got the tags in there, as y'all can see, one of 25, CFL, one of 25, CFL. She already got her shirts, they done, so that's out the way. And on some random side job, guess what I done did? <laughs> I done did this right quick out of nowhere. This just caught me random. I'm like, you know what? Let me see if I can put my little mini detail transfer on the shot glass. Because I didn't want to just do them all basic like this. So that ain't basic, but it's just something simple. You know, I want some detail. So now I done tried it and it worked. And I made some short form content to show y'all how I did it. So be on the lookout for a short, maybe two part short. Showing y'all how I uh, put the detail transfer together using this heat gun. And yeah, that's what I did, man. DTF on some shot glasses. Sign vinyl on some shot glasses. We got shot glasses for sale. <laughs> yeah. Back in the lab, man. Them shot glasses, crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I did not even... That was just one of them random moments. That's why I didn't even catch it on camera to show it. Because I could have showed how I did it in the vlog, but... The way it came out of nowhere, I just did one first before I even turned the camera on. And then I was like, damn, it worked. I was like, you know what? I might as well go ahead and make a little tutorial. So I just turned it into a short since I couldn't uh, make it in a vlog because I wanted to do the whole three. So we did two different methods, the regular side vinyl decal method, and then we did the DTF method, which I really was trying to show y'all because I've been doing the vinyl method. So, yeah, man, we're going to jump into these pants down to the last pieces. We ain't got number two more pieces to uh, print. Actually, three. Cause I got my blanket. The blanket is gonna be the big deal, man. We finna all of them finna be a big deal, but that blanket finna be crazy. So yeah, we're gonna jump on into this shirt with the pockets. Jump into these jeans. I already know what I'm doing to the jeans. I already think, uh, came to that conclusion that I'm gonna go ahead and just print on these, and I'm gonna print Creator Nation going down the inseams of the leg on both sides, in like a uh, in like the same font as that font on this hat right here. So basically, if somebody wanted to wear this with that, that'd be dope. But yeah. In black suede, I'm gonna do it in black suede to keep it simple. And yeah, that's gonna be fire. And they, uh, I think they'll rock with it. And if they don't, it don't matter, I rock with it. I'm making them for me. Really, these jeans wasn't even supposed to be dry. I really just was getting them for me. But since I'm gonna drop them now, I might as well go ahead and do my thing. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And once we print them last three pieces, that's it, bro. All we gotta do is crop everything together on Photoshop, put all the pieces in the collection, make some promo pics, take some pictures i'll probably put some on myself get fresh uh go in the photo room take some pictures create some content you know some stuff to post on all the platforms and then since i'm doing it like this i didn't really schedule like no photo shoots and nothing like that but i do have a few people on standby for when i call so i'm gonna see how i can get them together put some photo shoots together and yeah man roll it out sell some we're gonna drop it on all platforms youtube facebook instagram our website the whole nine Every time I do a new drop, I'm going to do a podcast episode. So, y'all know we finna do a podcast episode. And that's what it is. But I ain't going to talk too much. Let's just go and finish these pieces up. Because I'm finally at the end. And it's time, man. If you've been watching this collection being created for the past 11 or 12 episodes on my channel, then you know how it came about, how it's been put together. You're watching all the steps. And, yeah, y'all going to get to see me upload all the products to the site and all that. But first, we got to get through this. So, let's go and get through this. Got my boy Russell on the screen in here. You know what I'm saying? Free promo for my boy. Because <laughs> I rock with him. Like it's nothing, bro. I be basically just giving y'all. That's why I like doing the vlogs, man. You know? Everybody been saying that too. Like, bro, you show us more in the vlogs than trying to just do like a little short tutorial or something. Because we learning a lot just by seeing you build and create your stuff. So 
that's why I said I'm gonna keep at it with this. But yeah, I got all that cut out so far. The vertical typed up word. All we got to do is, boom, that's one side of the leg. It's two sides of the leg. The heat press hot enough and ready to go. Boom, all I'm about to do is stack this on top of this going down the leg. And it should be long enough to uh, take up the whole leg on both inseams. And then that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the simple design. And of course, I do gotta put like a back patch on the back and then put some tag on the inside of the jeans too. But I'ma just run through that. I just want to show y'all this outside print because this is dope. And y'all gotta see it so that I can come up with something to match this shirt, man. Let's go. All right, so yeah, pretty simple. Create a nation, going down the inside of the leg, down all the way to the bottom, as far as we can go. And it looks like it's the perfect size, almost. Damn, it might be a little too big. Might have to clip them and take some of the space out the leather, but you know, so far it looks like, yeah, it's definitely a little too long. So I'm gonna have to take some space out of the letters myself, but all in all, this the concept. I ain't really know. I tried to measure it, but one thing I do know is that when I measure stuff using the real ruler, and then I put it in there and type it in exactly, it be a little bigger every time. So I gotta start going like an inch and a half, two inches down, because really it would need to be like this, like right here. This would be it perfectly. So I gotta take some space out of it, but we're gonna make it happen. First thing first though, before we do anything, you know you're gonna need a padded pillow. You don't wanna just press these regular. You can't just press them regular because of the seam. So this padded pillow for the arm sleeve is the same one you can use for jeans and everything else like this. So we gonna slide that in there like this. And now we're good to go. We can actually press this and get the even pressure. And I'm using suede flop because regular vinyl can go on here too, but regular vinyl will come off quicker or really most likely gonna come off in general because of this seam being that it's vinyl and you know some people might throw this stuff in the heat heater or whatever and um i mean some people might throw this stuff in the dryer or whatever and that'll throw it off so you don't want that so what i'm gonna do is use flop suede vinyl which is like a suede it's like an actual garment material close thing you're gonna get to like a suede or a velvet when it comes to vinyl and that way we don't have to worry about that and like I said, I'm about to just chop these up right quick and see how much space. So I need to take off like the whole CR. Okay. Damn, do I just want to cut out new ones and save these for some bigger jeans? That's what I'm thinking. Ooh! I came up with a different concept because it was too long. That's what I'm saying. You got to improvise. I like this better. This is better than what I was about to originally do. And the only reason I did this is because... I didn't know that I cut it out too big. So that's crazy. So y'all see how stuff come to life in real life when you just really creating. Like, I, I thought I was going to print it going all the way down. And I'm like, now I'm like, you know what? I actually like this because I seen people do that. So that was going to be like a piece that's kind of like, it wasn't original, but it wasn't something that it's like I stole it from nobody specific. Like, you know, it's just a cool place, man. Ain't nothing wrong with it when you got damn see something that's dope you know and want to just try it out yourself but now i don't know if anybody did this before yet i'm sure it probably has been done because ain't really nothing new under the sun but hey i didn't see nobody do it i just did this because i swapped it around on camera as y'all can see and just was like you know what forget it i ain't finna cut out nothing extra i'm just gonna keep these and run it like this you know and now looking at it it's dope bro it's super fire i ain't gonna lie Glad I actually did it too big. Most of the time, some of I honestly what's crazy is when we in here cooking up, our dopest pieces do come from um like not doing it exactly how we gonna do it by mistake or something like cut something out too big or stuff like that. So I will say that like a lot of the stuff me and my bros cook up, it be like on accident sometimes. Like we be purposely working, but the design to come together like a whole different concept. Like this. Like it was supposed to be straight up the leg. Now it's not. Now it's not. You know what I'm saying? Boom. It's perfectly aligned. Though, I can tell you that. Just like a, like life. Damn. 
beast mode, man. Beast mode. All right, that's that. Now, it's fly, bro. It's hard. I wasn't even planning on doing this. Wasn't even planning on doing this, nation. But we the nation, and that's what we do. We create. <laughs> sometimes we create from scratch. Sometimes we create off inspiration. Sometimes we just create and don't know how it's going to come about. And it just do. Sometimes we let life create for us and just, you know, think it up, manifest it. <laughs> like, you don't know. It's just crazy how this came about. These fire, though, bro. These fire, I got to admit. Well, that's one more piece down. One more piece down. Damn these five, man. By accident. All right, so had to unfold them. Oh my God, bro, this don't make no damn sense. This is fucking crazy, y'all. Like, nah, real talk. This is crazy. I'm gonna be real. Like, man, what? It was not supposed to read like this. I wasn't even planning on this. See, that's what I be saying. Real life, like this, this real time. Like y'all seeing it. Like this was not supposed to read create a nation perfectly aligned on yes it was yes it was that's why it happened bruh that's crazy even on the back man that's fire y'all this how they was supposed to be that's fine let's cook shirt next blanket damn bruh this might be the hardest tea i done did for my brand i ain't gonna lie. look at this puff this crazy. I wasn't even gonna record. I was just gonna finish it up. But I, I'm glad I stopped. <laughs> Press this pocket. Then I gotta show you. The, look at the back. different look at that puff that's when you got some perfect puff look at them times clean different we're gonna go reflective in the middle right here reflective that's gonna be that and then i'm about to go ahead and take this on that i already started as y'all can see most stuff you can just take the tags out if you don't know about taking tags out and removing like threading and stuff like that then you know you're about to find out today i wasn't really gonna even release a lot of these because i thought i couldn't get that collar out honestly so now that I know I can, like this, all I gotta do is finish the job. Finish the job. And then the real trick is not to try to do the whole thing like that. It's really just to <clears throat> go ahead and lift them like this in the front. See, I can just rip all these easy. 
That way when I pull it up, it's just gonna fall apart easy. Damn, bro, this shit fire. This is my favorite piece of all. Create a jersey pocket, double pocket tee. <laughs> They gonna want this too. This finna why I bet this finna get so much attention with them jeans. This one ain't supposed to be no outfit like that. But it worked out how it's supposed to. Hey. I'm sure I was doing them jeans. I'm like, where I had this on? Perfect. 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 Bruh, this is my favorite piece, bro. Already. Black reflective, black puff. I just got to put a tag in it. I got to put a hang tag on this, boy. Sheesh. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm mesmerized by this one. <laughs> Dang, bruh, it's crazy. What is that? Lint. I don't want nothing on that, man. That's too hard, bruh. Damn, and I've been holding this so long. Y'all don't even understand. Like, this been sitting there about two, three months. Just a piece that I ain't know what I was going to do to. But it wasn't time yet. So, I know it looked like this is burned. That's because I had my padded pillow on that. So, what you do to get the color back faded, eventually it fades anyway. But what I do to just go on and give it that instant fade is just press it in the spots where you don't see the line to make it even out. And then you can kind of do that with any piece. I started doing it with track pants and stack pants because they would fade. So, you know, you just press it again since the heat is up hot. Make it balance out and fade back. Then eventually, you know, it fade anyway and come back to life. If you've been doing this or you do this, then you already know. But, yeah, that puff is crazy. Super crazy. We got to reflect. I'm finna put a size tag in it. And yeah, man, that's it. Last piece. That's it. We ain't got nothing but the blanket left. Going to peel that on off. Added that to the back of the jeans. Stamped the uh, simple logo on that. And we good. That's it. Damn, bruh. I ain't gonna lie. This it. This is my favorite pieces of the um collection. All of it. I love all of it. I ain't gonna lie. It'd be hard to say it's my favorite, but bruh. This right here is like, I damn near just want to make this for me and don't even drop it. That's how fire it is to me, bruh. Like, this is crazy. I went crazy. So, y'all know eights are basically infinity symbols if you uh shape them right. So, eight sideways is an infinity symbol. So, I went with the eight sideways because that's my other number besides 13. So, 213.94 is my number. Eight is a uh, number that I use because it's an infinity symbol. And, yeah, it's lit, bro. All this came together. I'm just glad y'all get to see how it come together and don't, you know, ain't like, I wonder how he do it when y'all see in this collection. Like, bro, y'all see it come together. It literally fall into place. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy, bro. I'm acting like I ain't did it <laughs> myself, but it be like that, bro. It don't even matter. Like, that's crazy. Like, damn. What? Man, I don't even know how to price this. <laughs> I don't even know how to price this, man. Got the spin going, bro. This is nuts. Sheesh. The boy done snapped with this. I ain't going to lie. This is my favorite outfit right now. I'm about to go buy all these shirts up and the jeans because I know they finna sell out. No, this going to sell out. Everybody going to hit me by this, bro. Watch. Damn. All right. Let's go on and go ahead and cook it up. So I'm going to take pictures of these right quick so we can make mock-ups for them, add them to the collection. And that's it. We done. Go on and cook up the collection, mock-up the castle, some promo pics, get some of this type of content with the spin around. We're going to lay everything in here. Photoshop. I mean, photo shoot. Get some product shots. Photo shoot with all the gear. And then, you know, time to put a shoot together. And yeah, we dropping tomorrow. Let's get it. I ain't waiting on the shoot to drop because I can come in here and shoot myself and do some pictures. And then I know how to go outside and get product shots, product shots. Mannequin, I got the mannequin. I might pull the mannequin back out. And then, yeah, man, I got my boy Vaughn. He gonna come through, my bro. So we gonna shoot some old stuff and some new stuff. 
But these crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This is my favorite new drop. This is the hardest drop I done done thus far. And y'all get to witness it. That's fire. <laughs> and hopefully, everybody get to be a part of it in some type of way and interact. Because the giveaway is on the way. Let's go cook. All right, y'all. We at the last leg of the cook up, the last piece, the last physical piece that has to be pressed as far as something new, no design in mind, but I do have a design in mind. So I was gonna do like a big print just centered on this blanket, but then I was like, I done already did that before. And if I'm gonna do that, I might well just run back with the same design. So I don't really wanna run back with the same design because I don't wanna wait on the material. And I want to go ahead and get this done tonight because I'm trying to drop really like ASAP. So that's what it is. What we're going to do is I'm going to do an all over print. I already came to that conclusion. We're going to go black, suede, flock print all over. And yeah, bro, we're going to see how it come out. Like, I don't know what is about to happen. Y'all don't know what's about to happen, but we about to, it's about to make it happen. We about to make it happen together. So time to see what we about to do, man. I got a bunch of scrap. Black flock right here and black puff, black reflector. I really got all kinds, so if I gotta use all of it, I'ma just use all of it and just go crazy. And then, you know, by the time it's time to put it in the real production, I don't know what material I'ma use, which most likely to be the flock. But yeah, got the throw blanket. Been holding it forever, it's time to bring it to life and see. So I am gonna have to take it in the photo room and lay it in there so that I can actually put everything on. But y'all gonna see the process and how I go about it. It's slick a tutorial right now, so I might have to break this down and put this clip out is a whole separate clip just showing people how to do a blanket. Cause I did it in my Miami vlog, but a lot of people probably ain't even gonna, you know, everybody don't want to see the Miami vlog. So they might not never find out that I printed a blanket on the beach. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's get into it, bro. We're gonna have to cut all these infinity symbols out right quick and wrap it on up so we can go on ahead and load the site. <laughs> It's pitch black. <laughs> pitch black in here, man. We in here, though. Y'all already know what's going on. Hold on. Let me hit the light so y'all can see what we doing. See what we doing. Yeah, it's going down. All over infinity symbols on the blanket. Crazy. So I'm doing suede flock and puff on this one. But on the real official ones, it's going to be all suede flock. Because it's easier for me to print with the suede flock. I could just iron them all down and make them stick a little bit. And then I can take it to the heat press and heat them all. So the trick to heating the blanket basically is just having a mini press or an iron or something like that. And only using like suede flock vinyl. Or you can use regular vinyl too. But me personally, I use suede flock because it's the closest thing you're going to get to like a material. But yeah, man, that's what I would say. The blanket is the last piece to this collection. I ain't got to cook nothing else up. All we got to do is uh, take pictures of this blanket, take pictures of, uh, that's it. No, just take pictures of this blanket. And then once I take pictures of the blanket, we can go ahead and add this to the collection, add all the products to the website, and then wrap it on up. So I'm going to end this video on the positive note with pressing this. And then when we jump back to it, next video, next day, last day, of the cook up we loading up the site and dropping for the streets and announcing the giveaway so this is it man y'all witnessed a, a dope turnout i hope everybody been enjoying everybody has been watching if you haven't and you new here listening and watching to this right now if you're new here watching this right now tap in go back to the first video of this collection it's like 10 11 maybe 12 videos probably more than that and yeah watch the uh series watch this collection come to life learn something <laughs> It's finna go crazy though. It's getting hot.
my so far, y'all. So of course I'm not done. We're finna take it in that to the heat press. But I went on here since it was puff, I was able to hit it with the iron and just to get them all stuck on here, like I said. And then the puff actually pressed to the point where it kind of rose up and it's really ready to go, except a few of them. So now we got them all on there. These are not gonna come off because I got them on there just so that I could stick it like this. See how they ain't moving around? I ain't gotta worry about them falling off. None of them falling off or nothing like that. They stuck just enough so I can move it around. And then I can take it to the heat press and press all over it, all around. And then we got us a blanket, man. We got us a throw blanket with suede on it and puff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what we gonna do, man. We gonna turn it up. Last product of the collection. Everywhere. Eh. Alright, so we got the blanket transferred to the room. Everything is on here, bro. And that's it, y'all. I appreciate everybody that's been tuning in with the boy, man. Rocking with me, subscribing to the channel. I've been getting a lot of new subscribers. I really do appreciate it more than y'all know. I appreciate everybody that's sharing my videos and commenting and interacting with me. Yeah, um, this has been a great journey so far. We're gonna see how far we keep going. And that's what it is, y'all. Like, life is great. Creating is great. We're gonna keep creating and don't stop. And don't stop. Don't stop. So the blanket done, y'all see that, man. All over print came out super dope. A1, let me zoom in on it so y'all can really see it. I ain't gonna cut all the lights on in here because I'm gonna get pictures and stuff. But I just wanted to let y'all see the finished product. All over printed, suede flock vinyl, black on a tan throw blanket. I think the blanket was like seven, eight dollars. Now we just turned this into a way more expensive blanket than that. It took a lot of print, don't get me wrong. That wasn't just no simple job. It looked quick on camera, but it's tedious. But all in all, y'all see how it came together. So if you want to do your blanket and y'all need a method, get your iron and a heat press and go crazy. Until the next video, though, y'all already know what it is, man. We outside.